singing to the ladies, but I'm working for the fellas. I said I'm singing to the ladies, but I'm working for the fellas. out there tonight who are with the woman they love, the love of their life, I want you to make some noise right now. In fact, I want you to pull her close to you right now. Pull her close to you. Just do it, dog. Please, trust me. Just do it. <laughs> and with all of your heart and soul, brothers, I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say. If you're here tonight with the love of your life, brothers, please stand. Please stand. To my brothers professing their love. Stand up. And take her, take her by the hand. Take her by the hand. Just rock with her a little bit. Yeah. Don't look at me, look at her. Yeah, you better stand up, man, if you want to sleep tonight. <laughs> and with all your heart and soul, brothers, ooh, don't that look good? That look good. Look. Love is in the house tonight. Just rock with her a little bit. Yeah, see, she ain't seen you move like that since Jordan was playing in Chicago. And with all your heart and soul, brothers, repeat after me, say, Take your shirt off for me. I don't do that. Maybe that bit of mail is going to be a scandal. Give it up for my brothers, y'all. In 2008, 2008, 2009, I was in crisis. I was in creative crisis, trying to birth the intimacy album. And the crisis was that I had produced all of my music up until that point all by myself. It wasn't a, really a one-man show, but it was a one-man show. I, and I started to write these songs that were bigger than my ability to produce on my own, and I refused to let go of the idea that I could handle the situation on my own. And this song in particular, look, see, sometimes God is trying to elevate you, but you got to let go of some of your stuff first. He be trying to elevate us, but we be hanging on to the stuff that we think has served us. And sometimes it has. There are 
are places in our life where we have achieved things and we have experienced success and our talent and our skill and our capacity and our acumen and the anointing have placed us where we are. But sometimes when God's trying to elevate you, the rules that used to apply don't apply anymore. And you got to pay attention. Because it may just be that what got you here won't get you there. You only knew enough to get where you at. When it's time to elevate, you have to incorporate some new things. You have to acknowledge the fact that you don't know everything. That it don't always depend on just you. In recovery circles, we call that surrender. We spend Sunday morning talking about how we waiting on God and God is waiting on you. Waiting on you to get out the way. All of heaven is asking, are you done yet? Are you finished? Is this the best you can do? And I had to surrender this place in my life to this song that I loved and I recorded it and I wrote it and I put this vocal on it and these beautiful strings and, and it still wasn't good enough. And one of my biggest character defects is that if I can't get it to do what I want it to do, I leave it alone. Some, there's a place for that. <laughs> so I put it up on the shelf. And you have to know, if I don't dig it, you never hear it. But I surrendered. Sylvia Rome was the head of the label at that time, and she was calling us and saying, yo, dog. She didn't say that, but I mean, she was, yo, where's this record? By the time I had submitted to the idea that I could no longer take this journey, this musical creative journey on my own, I had met this producer in Los Angeles. We worked on a Maze Tribute album. And I met him and we got along. That's a record with Golden Time of Day on it. I did that cover for Frankie. Give it up for Frankie Beverly. Frankie Beverly. So I broke down and we reached out for Rex. And Rex came to Detroit and he sat and he listened to these songs that I had crafted for the Intimacy album. And he helped me birth those songs. Can you feel it? Share my life, human touch. And we were sitting in the studio and I pulled this down and he listened to it, he said, what's that? I said, this is a song that we're not gonna use because I don't really know what to do with it. He convinced me to let him take it home to the West Coast. He said he'd bring it back in a few weeks, and if I dug it, we'd use it, and if I didn't, we didn't have to. And he brought it back to Masterpiece Sound over on Webb Avenue, right off the lodge in Detroit. We sat down in the basement, and he listened to it, and he played it for me. When he played it for me, I cried. You see, sometimes you got to get out the way. You don't know everything. And it's okay not to know. You weren't built to have all the answers. Because we, what we do when we, when we push that away, when we, when we don't pay attention to those things, is we delay God's ability to elevate us. What I was deferring, what I was putting off, turned out to be my first Grammy nomination. This is why would you stay? There's a light shining on you And maybe I'm chilling inside 
than the woman that I barely knew. Hey, I must admit I love my mind, babe.